Hey yo. Welcome back to another one. So for this one, honestly, I kind of thought it would be fun and different to switch it up a little bit. I decided that I was going to react to the very the very first video that we ever uploaded to YouTube. It was on June 10th of 2022. Yes, that's correct. This channel really is not that old. It's about a year and a half old. Just keep in mind before I show you guys this, for those of you guys that may not have seen it, was that prior to filming and editing this video, I have never held an actual camera before, just a, just a phone, and never edited, none of that brand new to content creating, brand new to editing, brand new to filmmaking, didn't know how to do any of it. So I haven't seen this video for a while, so I figured it'd be nice to go through and talk about what I'd do differently and what I'd do now if I happened, like if, if I knew then what I know now, how I would change things up. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Probably gonna go into embarrass myself a little bit, but it's also kind of nice because it'd give not only myself, but you guys the opportunity to see exactly how far I've came with video editing and filmmaking and stuff like that so i'm actually i'm nervous but excited at the same time let's get to it hunting ghosts in a small town park this park is actually foundation park in centralia illinois aka the town i grew up in for those of you guys that didn't know that oh man Tell no one's been out here for a while. Mm -hmm. My legs just got hit with like 20 different spider webs. <laughs> I don't want kids to do this kind of shit anymore. That's all I used to do. <laughs> for starters, I really have no idea why I filmed myself walking to a spot. Like, um, this place here where this spot is actually pretty active for those of you guys from TikTok, this is what that place looks like during the daytime i have live streamed here a lot me and brendan that other guy that's brendan let me rephrase that i initially walked up to this area to get some b or like pictures slash b-roll plot twist i didn't get anything so we pretty much walked there just to walk there and i just <laughs> i don't get what the point of it was Yeah, I'd say you'd think there would be. Yeah, there used to be. I don't know what. I wonder if they didn't have anything going on. Yeah, see, I didn't take any... But no, I didn't even get any actual B-roll footage. I, I got this picture, uh, but also the audio on this video isn't going to be the great greatest because I don't have like a shotgun mic or anything. I'm using the onboard camera mic and onboard camera mics are crap and i found out after editing i edited this video in literally like a day i i'll be lucky if i can even get through video f like or i'll be lucky if i can even get a quarter of the way through a video in a day now no background music nothing right now we are in centralia illinois at foundation park Currently trying to see old oh, baby face if there is anything here. It's a like a city legend, old wives' tale or whatever. That this place is haunted. Sometimes you come out here, and you see weird stuff. So 
sometimes you don't. Some things that have been reported is over that way. There is okay, so, oh, I guess I did get some B-roll. Uh, anyway, just for those of you guys that may be confused and whatnot, uh, yes, I was brand new to filming and editing and content creating but I'm definitely or even in this video was not new to paranormal investigating and like ghost hunting stuff like that I've been doing this since well I grew up in a haunted house so there's that but I didn't start going to like other locations and like actively ghost hunting um, until 2011 so as of well now it's 2024 so I've been ghost hunting and paranormal investigating for roughly 13 years now so I'm no stranger to that but in this video even technically now I'm still fairly new to it I'm only a year and a half old in the content world but man I've already seen a lot of stuff that I wouldn't even do let alone put in a video now there's an old merry-go-round I don't know how old it is but people would take pictures by it and there would be things in the picture that wasn't actually there like you could actually see it let's see what we catch I mean, let's see if we can say for sure throughout this video if this place is for sure haunted guys over here directly that way oh I keep on hearing things walking in the woods but keep in mind we are out in nature pretty much so we're in a park a state park so that could be animals something this is right. it's not a state park for one it's just a town park i don't know why the hell i said state park also man pick up your damn feet normally i don't drag my ah oh, never mind i think that was right be, like we filmed this i think the a day or two before they mowed out there and the grass was pretty tall but yeah, i mean even right there though I, I mentioned something about hearing stuff walking around in the woods and called out that you know just keep in mind we are out in nature so that's something that you don't commonly see amongst new people so that's kind of like a dead giveaway that i wasn't brand new to paranormal stuff but jesus this video is already low-key cringy roughly 100 acres these woods back here can't really see them too well on video i can't really brighten it up anymore than this on this can't see anything too well bozo this camera but these woods aren't as thick as you think they are can't see nothing. I'm gonna put some, at the very beginning of this video, I'll put some footage up and pictures up of what it's out here like, or what it's like out here during the day. And the woods ain't very thick. That's why it's kind of sketchy because with this light, I can't see any eyes or anything every time I hear them, wood, the twigs cracking. This right here is the hill that uh oh i just got a cold chill what is this can't see the hill but here is the giant hill you can't really see it during the day you can see where it goes up comes down where i'm standing but kids would go sledding down this and their family members would stand roughly over there and record them coming down this hill and in the back over like that way they would catch something like another kid or a family member or something like that or basically a spirit in the picture they don't recall that that person ever being there and they just didn't understand i actually personally know some people that will not come out here at night due to this and when i posted on facebook some places that they went investigated local this is one of the quite a few or one of the few places that was mentioned quite a few times. Definitely weird. There's a lot of creaks and stuff sounds out here, like twigs breaking and whatnot. But uh, 
like I said, it, it could be anything. It could be squirrels. It could be rabbits. God, look at all that noise in that video, man. Hell, it could be even deer. Or it could be paranormal. We don't know. Um, here in a minute, we're going to try the REM pod. We have some cat balls and stuff. That we're going to try. Um, also, guys, bear with me. It's my first video. Um, I'm still learning. I haven't got a... We can tell. Camera stabilizer. Yeah, I'm holding this big old DSLR camera. Can definitely tell. It was your first video, bud. After last month's massive solar flare added a 25th hour to the day. I guess that's kind of some motivation for anybody that's wanting to uh, get into content creating. I didn't even think about that. Obviously, this video is ass. But I know you see this ad less than a year okay started youtube fresh channel less than a year got monetized i will say your boy is adhd af so i hyper fixated and went to youtube university and i taught myself how to film and how to edit and all this kind of stuff but that just comes to show you that just because you think you can't don't mean that you really can't you know obviously you don't in none of these videos I'm sitting here talking crap about anybody's video but this right here this is the definition of started at the bottom you know what I'm saying um, but seriously like you could start like if you started today or if hypothetically like I would have if I would have started today in less than a year you could be monetized you know what I'm saying I mean yeah there's some people that haven't you know they've been doing this stuff for years and still not monetized but miracles can happen and the only thing I can say is just try it you know what I'm saying if it's not your thing it's not your thing but if you want it to happen then make it happen you know and I know it's it's technically harder than just making it happen but you get it just if, if it's something you want to do be consistent learn how to do it no one now like right now I got a lot of hookups and stuff like that so if i if i need something need to learn something i got somebody or multiple somebody's i can get a hold of but when i was first starting nobody was helping me i had to learn it on my own so i just did it i learned it on my own yeah it was annoying and a lot of aggravating nights and whatnot and late nights staying up trying to learn how to edit because i have kids so the only the only quiet time i get is at night but yeah it's not it's not unbelievable or unheard of. It actually does happen. I know people that's got gotten monetized in less time than it took this channel to get monetized. But it can happen, so just go out there and try to do it. I set this REM pod up here on the merry-go-round that is reported to sometimes spin by itself. Um, this merry-go-round is actually pretty hard to spin. So it's not wind or anything. But if you don't know what a REM pod is, pretty much it, anything that comes close to it has some, any kind of like electromagnetic field or anything like that, it'll go off. Like, like that. What the hell is going on with it? I am so sorry to anybody that watched this video when it first dropped. I, I, after about 10 minutes of not getting anything, we decided to try something else. Why is it doing that? We ended up setting up some cat balls. These things are touch activated. You grab them and they start lighting up. Turn the brightness down, homie. See? Jeez. We have one right there, one right there, one on the other side, and then the rim pot on this side. Um, earlier I shut the light off in the camera, and a little bit after I did that, the rim pod went off. And the only way I could have done that, we was over here, sitting over there by that tree, 
The only way it could have done that is something touching it. That's technically false. I think I was reaching a bit, not gonna lie, when this happened, because it it like slipped my mind that insects, like if you have a moth or something like that land on the REM pod antenna, it will set your REM pod off. Why I forgot that or whatever, I don't know. But Jesus, man. Guys, I'm not even joking. As soon as I turned the camera off earlier, I sat down. As soon as I sat down, that REM pod went off over there. It do be like that, though. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shut the light off. Can you play with one of these toys I have out here for you? Even if you're an adult, it would still help us know that you're here. Do you not like it when someone records? Or are you just not used to it? Because I don't think really hardly anybody's been out here recording ghost hunts. At least not that I'm aware of. Alright, that hasn't turned on. None of these have turned on for the past like 30 minutes or so. So now. I'm going to try EMF. I'm going to turn this light down. There we go. If you are out here, can you come touch this device in my hand? Still over here by the merry-go-round. This is where everybody, everybody swears up and down. This is haunted. Set that right there. I'm probably good three feet away from it. If there's anybody here with us, can you at least come and get close to this EMF detector? If you touch it, it changes colors also. It just doesn't beep. Why do you gotta put that in there? <laughs> or you can touch that cat ball right there. The REM pod. Ooh. Something's right on top of that. Literally. Can you move away for me? Wait. I think no I one's by as you can tell. <laughs> Thank you. Can you get closer to it again? Just wait, you'll see what I'm talking about. There was a bug on it, I'm pretty sure. I just got cold chills, like it's touching me. Reaching. Ooh, what was that? Was that you? It sounded like you ran up to me. Mind you guys, there is nothing around. I'm about to shine a light at you guys. Everybody is over here. And I heard something. It sounded like it took off out of the woods, I swear to God. And right after that, this thing started going crazy again. And now my camera's not gonna focus. Too dark for it to pick up on anything. On. I will say that is a that happens a lot amongst even now um, with us or with even other teams that I've seen too or also 
they will go so long without getting any kind of action that if anything happens it's like they just forget to check it out first or try to debunk it and they're like finally something's happening once again if i'd have known then what i know now or if i'd have basically what i mean by that is like keep a level head and just understand that just because you really, really want something to happen doesn't mean that it's actually gonna happen. So if something like, like if that room pod went off and being outside, I would have definitely made sure to make sure there wasn't a bug on it. I seen the bug. It looked like a, a daddy long leg or some kind of spider or something like that. But yeah, uh, pretty, so pretty much what happened was, is we were just starting to get very bored. Nothing at all was really happening. And the REM pod seemed like it went off on command. So I assumed, very big assumed, that something, because I just heard something. I do remember this, actually. I, I heard what sounded like a human running out of the woods. And right after that, the REM pod went off. So I didn't even think to make sure there wasn't a bug on it. And I just reacted. But technically, which I can't remember if I ended up finding out later in this video that that was a bug. But technically, that was, let me see real quick. Technically, that's debunked. I'm about to shine a lot of you guys. Hold Begin. On. It changes colors also. Wait a second, I'll show you guys. <laughs> Not me over here debunking my own videos. We can touch that cat ball right there. The REM pod. Let's see. Ooh. Zoom in on it. Something's right, right on top. Right there. Looks like a spider or a cricket or something. Yeah, you can see it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I do see, but this also helps with you guys. Also, you see anybody outside and the REM pods going crazy? There is a possibility that there's a bug on it because obviously bugs will set it off. But let me go back forward. Oh yeah, I feel it too. Oh yeah, I feel it too. I'm hearing things cracking all around us now. What time is it? It just became 11.05. Haven't had nothing for, we got out here at 10. The only thing we got was the REM pod went off for a, like just a little bit as soon as I turned the camera off. Ooh, it's going off again. Uh, the and then I heard that freaking sound over there again. Go check it out. I really hope the camera picked that up. Did you finally realize that it's not going to hurt you? Good deal. I just zoomed in. I didn't get that much closer to that thing because I want you guys to know that there's no possible way I'm making this go off. I don't see the bug on it now, but I don't know, man. I can't believe I still have this on the channel. The only reason why I kept some of the old ones on there is just to show how far the channels actually came. But Jesus, this one's... This one's pretty bad. Can you make any of these other devices go off? You're doing really good with the REM pod. It's the same concept with all these other devices. Can you make one of these cat balls go off? Can you go up there and touch it like you do the REM pod? All you have to do is touch it just like the REM pod. Let's 
see if we can get it to go off again. Are you done with the rim pod? Or can you make it go off again? Well guys, I'm pretty much gonna finish up here um, after the rim pod stuff. Basically went crazy for about a minute. It up and stopped. Y'all, comment down below if y'all think I should basically redo this video. Like, we go back out to Foundation Park and just do a complete redo. Don't even use none of the footage or nothing from this. Because there wasn't nothing to be... <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. Now I... I think now I might know why a lot of the locals didn't exactly take this channel too serious. Because this video is garbage. I can't really explain that, but I've already showed you guys how close you have to be in order for it to go off. Someone had to have been sitting right next to it, or something, I should say. Um, now, we're going to pack up here and go to the chapel in the woods. Um, I've heard some people say they've seen some stuff out there, but nothing actually documented or turned in. And we're going to try the spirit box out there and see how that goes. But obviously you guys will find that out too. Yeah, obviously. There's a good chance because for some reason I guess I didn't believe in actually cutting a lot of boring stuff out. Well, I mean, let's be honest, the, this whole video is boring. But I'll probably cut a lot of it out to make this video a little bit shorter. Why does it keep doing this? You said it sounded like something was thrown? We have had some pretty crazy live streams out there brendan and i have so i definitely believe that someone's throwing at them we've had a lot of footsteps out there stuff walk right up to us while we were streaming even though we didn't see it we heard it even the stream heard it and we've just caught a lot a lot a lot of weird stuff out there well we went out to the chapel in the woods and there's fire ants and like wood roaches and shit. So, I don't think they were wood roaches if you catch my drift, but oh well. We decided that we weren't gonna do anything out there. And on the way back, my parents are with me and they were probably about 10 feet behind me and they say they think that it sounded like something got thrown, like a stick got thrown at them, which out here could be a human, but we don't hear anything out here. And all these trees are damn near too small for anybody to actually hide behind. So, figure out document that. That was so awkward. Alright, so this just went off. And I asked it if uh, there was another human out here with us. And it started going off, there was no one around. There was a car coming off, so I don't want to blind it. But I asked it if it could set one of these uh, devices we had off. Oop, it went off again. And keep in mind, there's nobody around it. I was just setting up stuff to do the Estes method and it's also if I would have known then what I know now with how some of these people are in these comment sections bro I would have definitely made sure to hurry up and turn that damn light on and look behind the thing and everything just to be like oh no 
you know, no one just reached up there because people just become the most crazy stuff when they're trying to debunk stuff. Like they'll be like, oh, it's money I run. Like there's a half wall there. Someone could have just reached up there and it was dark. And just like then, you know, I went to go look away to do something and the cat ball went off again. Someone could have said, well, they reached up there again. So I would have made sure to like do that or set the camera down on one side of it pointing it so it could, you could see the whole thing just in case it did it again. But it is what it is. Going off again. Cade is alive. You took my son? We gotta get that baby back. You, you took my son. We'll never stop. <clears throat> Yeah, my family makes fun of me a lot, but they ain't lying though. I do got a big head. It's actually one reason why I wear a hat all the time. A lot of y'all don't know this, but one of my biggest insecurities, I got the Irish hairline, so it looks like I got a big ass forehead. So I just wear a hat and covers it up. Yeah, I don't think we got anything with that either. Closer. Maybe. You can come closer. We have stuff you can touch to let us know that you're here. Or you can talk Maybe to one. us. And touch one. Let us know where you're at. Do you not want to touch one of them? It's sounded like it said 10, but I'm not quite sure what it said. We just want to communicate with you. We're not here to harm you in any way. Would you like to talk to us? Oh, I just started feeling a little weird. Hmm. What was the last thing you asked it? Uh, I don't know what the last thing I asked, but the last thing I said was I told it we're not here to harm them. We just want to talk to them. I actually do remember this part. Uh, I don't know what it was. It just I started getting like lightheaded and stuff, which I'm not saying that was paranormal or anything. But like, I don't know. I just started feeling like really weird, kind of nauseous, lightheaded. Why didn't I cut this out? So this right here, this is kind of wrong. Keep in mind it's flipping through radio stations super fast. I shouldn't even be able to hear a full word, let alone more than one. Um, that is wrong, technically speaking. And... That is because, yes, it is flipping through. Like each one of those ch -ch 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 is a different word. But for whatever reason, apparently I forgot that sometimes, like when you're flipping through radio stations, right, in your car or whatever, and you will hear a station that is clear, you skip to the next station, and it's kind of like a little staticky. And then you skip to, skip to the next station, and it's like really low and staticky. So you get like two or three stations there that kind of have the uh the same that's well it's playing like the same thing so technically you have between one to three stations that it could do something so one word i could see coming through there and i have heard one word radio bleed through but after doing it for so long you finally get a uh, used to it to where you can kind of tell because i mean even though i have been ghost hunting stuff since 2011 when we first started doing this stuff like doing it for youtube and stuff like that that's when i really started getting into devices before that it was more of like just listening for things evps stuff like that you know so yeah essentially it's 
that phrase is wrong but if you do get a complete sentence then yeah it's kind of still a little rough I, i've personally never got a complete full sentence with radio bleed through before but i have gotten radio bleed through with one clear word Oh my gosh. Closing thoughts, shall we? I don't really want to talk about it. Nah. Obviously, that video was trash. Absolute garbage. And then, you... The editing was very poor. The video quality was very poor, and then I, then I had the audacity at the very end to put that little thing in the corner that says, like and subscribe. Bro, how on earth did I get like 40 people to subscribe after watching that video? I don't know. But like I said earlier, this is very uh, a very good reason to just go ahead and keep going because when you first everybody first starts out not being that great everyone starts from somewhere no one starts out being an expert in anything and with the paranormal world i know some idiot is gonna say oh you can't be a paranormal expert i'm talking about fucking editing god damn dude hop off my but no on a serious note no one starts out great and yeah just keep going i mean you see how crap that was and i'm not saying the newer videos look absolutely amazing but they're a lot better than that you know so with that being said i guess i'll probably go ahead and leave it up just for when this channel happens to blow up people can go back almost like mr beast you know what i'm saying you look at some of his new or old videos and you're like man how is he one if not one of if not the biggest youtuber right now we just kept going and you got to also man just keep going horrible man you get it but all right i'm gonna see y'all in the next one we hopping off here and uh take it easy